here. So I know a lot of you guys actually saw my James Turley reality TV show audition tape. And if you didn't, this is for you. Anyways, so um, I'm, my manager actually says I have to explain this in 15 seconds because he says I ramble a lot. So for all of you guys who did not watch that video, I'm going to be telling you this right now. Anyway, so basically James Charlie reality TV show is the fact that he has a lot of people who are really beautifully challenged So they are not good at putting on makeup and he's gonna help them put on makeup But basically I thought I would try to fit in and I thought I would try to apply to the show Even though I'm already really naturally beautiful and I don't need to be wearing makeup So it's like hey James I will make this video and I did and a lot of you loved it But unfortunately I did not get picked and unfortunately I've never been rejected from anything and the only thing I've ever been I'm usually just injected is I'm usually injected with stuff I'm usually injected with stuff from my mom's apothecary cabinet. I'm not rejected. So before I get into this video, I do want to read off a few stipulations so I do not get sued. My attorney actually wrote this for me, and you might be thinking, oh, Caroline, you're a lawyer. I actually don't have a lawyer. This is my friend, Mia attorney. She's just really nice and is covering my back. And, of course, my head and all of my body because... Okay. This is Caroline's friend, my attorney. I will leave her social medias in the description so you can follow her. Please make a generous monetary donation to her LinkedIn. She is being sued by Martha Stewart for falsely indicting her for tax evasion. R.I.P. Okay, so, um, yes. Yeah. So first and foremost, I would like to say congratulations to everyone who did get picked. Second of all, I would like to offer my condolences to everyone who did not get picked. You're all freaking losers. Third of all, I would just like to address James. James Charlie, I am in no way mad at you, your family, or your subscribers. I am mad at the admissions committee because I think you should fire them all. So in response to not making it onto James Charlie's reality TV show, my manager thought it'd be a good idea that I actually capitalize on the fame that I have left. So I decided I have a great idea. I'm actually going to be charging a small, small, small fee of only $10.99 a month for all of you guys. Um, if you want to call yourself a true fan, you pay this fee and then you can officially call yourself a Caroline Caroler. And if you don't pay this fee, then I could potentially sue you. As an added perk for everyone who decides to do this, once a year we're going to be holding this event where you fly yourself out to Ohio where I live. You have to pay for it though, I'm not paying for it, it's not all expense paid trip. Um, so you can fly yourself out to Ohio, you can meet me, and we can go Christmas caroling around my neighborhood. I might not be there. I'm really not sure how my schedule if it'll permit. Since this Carolers Club is such a new idea, I decided to run it past my fans just to see if you guys will actually sign up for it. Hey, um, I just was wondering, can I run something past you really quickly? I'm actually at the beach on Cuba. Oh yeah, no problem. Okay, um, I'm thinking about starting this club for my subscribers. It's called the Carolers Club. Caroline, that's the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But you, you wouldn't sign up? No. Yeah, but I um, I just booked this trip to Cuba and I put it on my credit card and I'm going to need people to sign up or else I won't be able to pay it off. Well, you should have done that. So I came to Cuba to get a nose job. Unfortunately, they weren't hiring, so my nose is still unemployed. I only booked a one-way flight here, but I only have American money, so I can't pay for another flight home. So now I have to get a real job so I can finally get some pesos so I can buy a flight home. Excuse me, I have to go draw a bath. Literally draw a picture of a bath. This is my little brother, Philip, and I decided to fly him out to Cuba because he's the smartest person I know. He's going to help me finally get a plane ticket home. And this is a picture we took on the beach that a stranger, uh, the stranger helped us take. So I'm on my way to give out some resumes to some stores. Do you want to see what I have on my resume? Look. Ouch. So I'm actually about to go give out my resume so I can go get a job. Highly qualified if you ask me, baby. I wish I was colorblind so I didn't have to like obey the um, signals on the traffic lights. Hey, baby. That's that's my car right there. I have that in Ohio. Should I apply to the post office? Do you think they're hiring? Oh, wrong, way. Careful. Careful. wrong way. Careful. Wrong way. I'll be right back. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the post office. I'm gonna apply. It's a Sunday, I forgot they're closed. Like, the gravity really hits differently in Cuba because we're at a different altitude. I hate this car. I wish I could just take anti-gravity meds and I could fly like they do in Harry Potter. Why do we have to drive this thing? Um, because I don't have a valid license in Cuba. Um, this car, um, the guy I, I borrowed it from, he says it's one of a kind, so. 
No, he said it's kind of a piece of shit. <laughs> Literally, how do I signal? Do I have to like stick out my your arm? arm? This way! That's not correct. So everyone keeps asking me, Caroline, like, what are your New Year's revolutions? Well, obviously last year it was the industrial and the civil. But this year, like, honestly, I think I'm like so perfect that I don't really need any. But like, if I were to make some just to like humble myself, it'd probably be like to hit 100 million subscribers on YouTube because like no one else has done that before. And sometimes, like, I kind of just want to hit a human with my car because they walk really slow and I'm freaking trying to drive. I have to apply for a job here. It's Agency of Florida. It sounds like they pay well. Do you think like a secret service agent? Yeah. Like a um like FBI agent? You'd be a good FBI okay, agent. Get your feet off my freaking resume. I wouldn't want to wrinkle it. I don't want to look like an idiot. Okay, bye. Have fun. Help me. One, two, three, Internet Street. I don't know why she's sending it in the mail. Are you okay? No, I can't. I can't send it in. I forgot stamps. They have stamps in Cuba, right? That's a tight turn right there, like your pants. You know I have a muffin top, and you know that's why I get rejected, why people don't want to be my friend. I'm pretty sure because you're vindictive and lying and manipulative, that's why people don't want to be your friend. Thank you for choosing my witness. How can I help you tonight? Hi, can I have a small frosty? I'm sorry? Can I have a small frosty? Small frosty, chocolate or vanilla? Um, vanilla, please. If I'm applying to a place, I have to make sure I like their food before I um, actually apply there because I don't want to work at somewhere that I don't actually believe Thank in. You. This is Candace. She's a huge fan of mine, so I decided to surprise her while she was at work. Caroline Ricky, R I C K E. Karen, what? Caroline Ricky, R I C K E. Caroline Ricky? Yes. Oh, wow. R-I-C-K-E? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me All with right. the helmet. 230,000. <laughs> Not expecting that much. Caroline Ricky? You're gonna have to eat this. Um, I don't eat dairy, so. I'm gonna stop looking for a job because she just recognized me. That means I'm famous. Caroline didn't get hired by any of these places, but she did make it out of Cuba. After filming this video, she hung up posters around Havana saying she needed a ride back to Ohio. I don't know why she thought she could be on James Charlie's reality TV show. She has commitment issues and can't stick to something for more than two days, especially a diet. They wouldn't let dogs in the car so she left me here. Who is going to narrate her videos from now on? Her mom can't genetically modify dogs' brains to speak Angelsh anymore because she got fired. It's been good. See you on the flip side. Bark Bark. Thank you.